this it won't get in focus that right there that has the answers to everything you could possibly want or need Hello guys, it is lovely to see you again and uh, it's good to be back. We have got the second of this Hack Yourself series, this time all based around perception. Now last time I talked about meditation and how important meditation was and today I want to talk all about perception. Now when I held this up at the beginning I said that this can hold the answers or does hold the answers to all of your problems and I know it's a little bit cliche but it's the whole glass half full or half empty scenario the glass could be completely half empty and therefore because it's half empty you are a very pessimistic person naturally uh, and that's the way you see the world or you can be more positive and say well the glass is half full and I think the meaning of this half full and half empty goes over a lot of people's heads and the power of that. Perception is very much how you interact with your day-to-day -day life and the world around you. Have you ever reviewed your day-to-day -day life? Have you actually reviewed what you've got right now? Get a piece of paper and start writing a list and start writing a list for everything that you are grateful for. That could be the fact that you have money in your bank account. That could be the fact that you have a partner. That could be the fact that you have a roof over your head. Start writing all of these things down and you're going to start to realize how much you've already got. It's very easy for us because we're always wanting to achieve and strive higher to go and get bigger and better things because that's what we want to achieve. But when we do that, we forget get what we've already got is our perspective of how we see that situation that dictate dictates how happy we're going to be or how fulfilled we're going to be in that scenario say for example you're going to a party and you're not a very confident person but you're going to this party and you're going you're not quite sure you're very anxious you're not you're a little bit nervous about the people that are going to be going there this was me for pretty much my entire childhood I was an incredible like a very introverted person and you get to this party and you're telling yourself everybody's got it out for me everybody's evil oh god you know this is gonna be ah oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be horrible oh just oh the thought of it oh the thought of talking to people that's how you're basically gonna give yourself off you're gonna come across as this very kind of anxious nervous everybody's out for me and people can read that subliminally but if you go into it going, you know what, I am going to have a really good time. I'm sure there's going to be some really interesting people there. Then that is what you set your sights on. That is what you set your scope on. And that becomes your perspective on that situation. You can use perspectives in different situations to try and force a better outcome when they can either be good or bad. I think you can get good or bad outcomes regardless of where you're in, depending on the way that you look at it. The other way that we can use perspectives to our advantage is to understand where someone else is coming from. Now this becomes very, very useful when two people don't agree, is this whole kind of put yourself in their shoes. And you hear people say, oh, put, put yourself in. It's not an easy thing to do. You've got to think about is how do you think they potentially could be looking at that situation. It's very easy for us to get angry at people for, for doing something that we don't agree with, come a lot more kind of grounded for the idea that we're not gonna agree with each other because sometimes what's right in this person's perspective is wrong in this person's perspective. Now, I don't get me wrong, there's a moral code. I feel like I have to put a disclaimer out all the time, but this does not give you permission to go and be a dick. Be a nice person because that's always gonna get you somewhere. When you can learn to put yourself in someone else's shoes you can start to look at things in a 360 degree scenario if i gave you this glass of water most human beings would think to drink it and i just spilled a bit on myself <laughs> if i was to give you this a lot of people would think to drink it that makes sense to them someone else may think that that glass of water was designed to cool them down well, why would you pour it on yourself you could drink it well that's their perspective that's the way they see it 
every scenario that you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis has not got fixed outcomes. The outcome is what you create. So by learning how to pull yourself out and understand that perspectives are something you can learn to hop between, you can then open situations and scenarios for yourself that you didn't think were even there before. Perspective is important in a time where the world seems to be filled with different perspectives, filled with different opinions, filled with different angles. We need to be at a time now more than ever where we can understand each other from different angles and understand different sides of the argument. The reason why the UK government at the moment is in an absolute abomination is because they can't do exactly that. They can't, they can't agree. They can't see each other's perspective. Is the reason why civil divide is happening. Perspectives are important. Appreciate that your perspective isn't the only one out there. And we've all got our own unique perspectives with certain outcomes. Learn to change your perspective. Be aware of perspectives. And then you can start to rephrase one position or one situation in many different ways. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It's really good to be back on back on the YouTubes again let me know what do you what do you think what do you think about perspectives do you think it's something that we should be aware of do you think we should learn to understand other people's perspectives and perceptions in life let me know in the comments below please make sure to like and subscribe ring that notification bell as well because we've got some serious cool stuff on the way thank you very much for watching and of course as always get locked in get charged up and i'll see you next time